Hi guys, welcome back to another daily tarot reading with me. I'm Ashley Rose and this is your daily tarot reading for Tuesday, November 1st, 2022. Welcome to November. I love the readings on the first of the month because it really sets a tone for what this whole month has in store. And even if even the last of the month, you can kind of like look back. It's the same way if I were to like be like, you know, read the bottom card. That's what the last of the month is and the top is the first, right? It's not the moon today, but I think that's interesting that it pops up because it's like, right? Like even coming after Halloween, it's like illuminated. Our fears are being let go. We're looking at it with, you know, with, I feel like emotional vulnerability, what our fears are and staring them straight in the face and acknowledging that it's time to move through them. Um, but one today being new beginnings, being authenticity, being our power, standing in ourselves, being the magician in our life and knowing that we create what we see for ourselves. And today, I love this. I love this for November. Oh my God, get ready. Buckle in, bitches. Sorry, <laughs> because this is going to be a good month. Yesterday, we had the Three of Wands and today we have the Two of Wands, the Seven of Cups in reverse and the Ten of Cups. So the things that you've been wishing about, the dreams that you have, they're coming true. You're not being delusional. You're not being stuck in your fears. You're not allowing these things, sorry, itchy nose. You're not allowing these things to block you. And it's important to know that when you are in that space of, you know, you're like, a, a cre <laughs> I don't even know what to say, like creativity and imagination and you're using your mind together instead of against each other, right? When we're over analysis paralysis and we're overthinking and we're doubting and we're stuck in our fear and we don't think that we can do it, right? That we are fighting ourselves. We are fighting our mind. But the seven in cups is telling us that we are living in alignment with it, right? We get the ideas and we're like, okay, I, I like that. That feels like a good thing. I want to dream about it. I see my dreams. I make it happen. I have one dream. I'm not lost in a bunch of them and don't know how to make them all happen. Everything's coming together. Especially, I kind of read these backwards, but with this two, of, but it all starts with this two of wands. It all starts by, you know, seeing what we have in our hand, acknowledging that we have the world in our hand and the world is our oyster. We basically have a clean slate right now. We've entered into a new chapter and a clean slate to build something big, to build something intentional. So I don't want to make that part like, oh, you know, create whatever you want. No, it is important that you create something that you like that you want to do, that you're excited about, that you really feel like within you is a part of your purpose and the reason why you came to this world, right? It's like no longer, we can no longer, because we will just continue to create this cycle of unhappiness and joy and not satisfied and bad relationships and you know not healing ourselves and not listening to our inner child. It's like, aren't we tired of doing that? It's like, we're tired, we can't do that anymore. And it's time for us to look out and be like, okay, yes, this is my world, but, I have this amazing thing in my hand and I can do something with it and I can look out into this water and I can dream about it. I can get in touch with my spirituality about it. I can meditate on it and I can choose to walk through this doorway towards everything I know that is aligned with me, right? And this, or yes, it may be scary and it may feel oh, big, it may be a big emotion to feel on the inside, but that emotion isn't telling you to stop. It's telling you to go further. It's telling you to dive in because we keep interpreting it as anxiety, but it's excitement and it's our intuition trying to be like, keep going, right? But we've, and we should kind of understand that a little bit, a little bit clearer now because before I feel like we were, you know, seeing our intuition and the way that it spoke to us was like our anxiety was we saw it in the wrong way. We saw it as like, oh no, don't go there because we've been taught to not trust ourselves for so long, right? But these last couple months, we really had to lean on ourselves. We really learned that only we could be trusted in what we want to do and that strengthened our intuition. We kind of had to be pushed to the wall so that we could finally strengthen that to understand what's coming in right now, to allow what's coming in to come in so that we can, again, walk through this doorway and two is the number for your intuition. It's, it's peace, it's connection, it's choices to make. So we could have a choice to make today. We got one or two. We have one, stay in the same life or two, especially, yeah, with this ten of this ten of cups, it's like one we can stay in this life. We can keep aligning ourselves to other people's validations. We can keep living for our external reality, for social media, for social norms, for our parents, for you know how the government and the world wants us to live our life. Or we can choose 
to go down the path to our success. Take the path less traveled. Seriously. That's the message. I feel like the, the very basic of it today is take the path less, less, take the path less traveled that leads to your success. And it's okay. Nobody has to understand it. Nobody has to get it because you're going to show them and you're going to prove to them by following yourself, by listening to your intuition, by standing strong in your power and knowing that you can build something to be grateful for, to be proud of, that's successful, that's abundant, that makes you feel love for yourself, for others, for what you're doing in the life that you're living. You will prove to them just through that, that you created your dreams and you made them happen and that you can sit under this rainbow of everything you've ever wanted with your family, with the, with your kids, in your house, and in a place that makes you feel secure and stable and sound and comforted and that you did it for you and it's so much more fulfilling that way when we do things for us and we don't do things for other people because then we always feel like we're subscribed to them or we are not you know living a life by them have you ever had that happen within a friendship or like a relationship or even with your parents right so you make all these decisions for them or you know well I do the laundry to you know, make them happy. And you, you just kind of say that in your mind. You don't really say anything about it, right? And then one day, and they're always thinking that maybe you like to do the laundry and they never really say anything about it. And one day you might have like a blow up. And you're like, well, I, I only do it for you, right? And it's like this, and maybe that was a bad, <laughs> I'm looking at my laundry doors and that's kind of why it made me think about it. Maybe that's a bad example. But I think you get what I mean. It's like, we do these things for others. We don't know why we're doing them. And we, and we feel like we cross ourselves all the time, right? And I, I guess a better example would be like for me, I go out because I want to see my friends. And sometimes I, I go out for them. And I don't even think they, they would not mind if I wasn't there or not. Or, you know, not that they wouldn't mind that I wasn't there. But if I didn't want to be there, I think that they would understand. And then I'm there and I'm feeling guilty because I know that's not what I really want to be doing. I'm thinking about all the things that I want to be doing. I'm not really in the moment because I'm like, oh, I could be doing this or that it would make me happier if I was doing that. But I'm here and I'm drinking or whatever it is. And, you know, and you get upset because you're like, oh, I'm only, just, I'm only going out for them. I start living a life for them. But today we make the decision to live a life for us and to know, again, I love that like the Five of Swords popped up the other day and even this like, trust what you're doing. You are not, you know, leading yourself down the wrong path. I know maybe in the past we've been delusional about what's going on or we lied to ourselves about the situations or, you know, the, in, the environments that we were in, but we're not doing that this time. We've gotten rid of all that. So trust it because it's, it's this, this brand new start to bring it all in. And that's what this month's about. It's bringing it in. It's trusting who you are and allowing this abundance to come in because the Ten of Cups is, ah, uh, it's like everything we've ever wanted and we can have it and it's here and it's by we did it by following our dreams we did it by trusting our emotions and expressing ourselves authentically and living a life aligned with that and that sounds you know that could sound cheesy but that is what it is um today we have 17 18 19 one plus nine is one 10 10 reduces to one we got new beginnings authenticity, standing in your power, allowing yourself to be the magician in your life and leading you down the path and know that like, because you've thought about it, because because you spent time meditating on it and sending your energy towards it, it will manifest and it is manifesting and you will start seeing that happen today. And so today is going to be a great day. So I love you guys. I can't wait to see how the rest of November unfolds and if you'd like to know more about me, what I have going on, or you'd like to book a tarot reading, you can go to ashleyrose.com. You can follow me on Instagram. That's Ashley Rose Tarot. The links are in the description. And um, if you're still around, um, and it's interesting because now today we have 111, right? 111 has been a big number that we've been seeing for the past couple months. I've talked about it a lot, or even today it came up like the number 11, right? 111. Um, that we could be seeing some of the, some of the, the messages that we've been getting that have been kind of around that we can see some stuff in our life today come in in relation to that. So keep an open mind, keep an open heart, and allow the good things to come in. All right? I love you guys. It's going to be a good day. Bye. I'll see you tomorrow in the Daily Tarot Reading.